Hi my sweet people, today I'm actually making this Japanese souffle cheesecake and if you want to know how I made it then do keep on watching. The items you'll need will be cream cheese, I'm using Philadelphia, and butter, milk, eggs, cake flour, and white sugar so you can just get a bowl and separate your egg whites and your egg yolks so I'm here I'm actually using three egg yolks and three egg whites so there is a specific measurement but um, from what I've seen is that you can actually use three eggs and three yolks for some other recipes that I've seen so I'm just gonna try this out and <laughs> I was taking a gamble here but I'm glad that it actually paid off so um, medium sized eggs should be fine I'll list all the original uh, ingredient measurements and all that in the description so just separate them and then in a separate pan you need to uh, over fire over your stove you just need to put in your butter milk and your cream cheese and make sure that it's all mixed and becomes like a smooth paste and once it's all fully mixed and it's creamy and like paste, you can uh, remove from the fire. paste like this and then once this is uh, done you can remove it from your stove and then prepare to add in your yolks so just let it um, bring it out of the stove and let it cool and then you can straight away add in your yolks and just continue mixing until it's fully mixed and then you can actually go on to the next step Sealing in the cake flour here. After you've sieved everything, then you can just add in the flour and mix it well together with your batter. And then next, you can go on to your egg whites. sugar I normally when making meringue I don't actually add in the sugar at the start but this is what the recipe called for and I was a bit suspicious at first and I think if I were gonna make this again I won't add in the sugar first because I didn't really get the uh, stiff peaks at the for, for a while when I was doing this so it took a, quite a bit of time longer than it would normally so I had to add in cream of tata to make it um, you know make the egg whites become like a meringue consistency which they call either the soft pigs you know so i had to add in um, like around one quarter teaspoon of the cream of tata in order to make it um, become like those uh, whipped cream kind of you know feel so just have to look out for that I forgot to mention that if you want the cake to be a slight more sweeter then you have to add in a little more sugar because this cake was uh, just not as sweet as I thought it would be but of course if you prefer it that way then let it remain but if you want definitely add in a little bit more sugar or you can add in the powdered sugar on top of the cake at the end. 
been wanting to make this recipe for a long time and because I love cheesecake so I didn't want to add in lemon juice because some of the recipes I saw had lemon juice inside and I didn't really want to add it because I'm not a fan of it and then since I had the cream of tartar on hand I just added in to see if this would help because that is one of the substitutes also but this recipe didn't call for cream of tartar anyway but I just added it in just because I needed that the consistency of the egg to egg whites to become a meringue formula but I was so lucky that it did turn out to become uh, the soft stiff peaks or oh, actually it was really, it was not really so soft it was more uh, of the stiff peaks so once that is done then you can put that aside and add in slowly into your egg yolk batter the stiff peaks as you can see and then you just need to add it in slowly into your egg yolk batter and then just slowly mix it in and just do it in a few parts and then once fully mixed in then you are about to prepare to bake your cake already It's better to do it this way because of the way it, it would turn out when you remove the cheesecake it will look nicer so I'm just gonna cut it and put it at the sides and the bottom and so that the cake don't become like a crumb you know crinkly and all that so try my best to make it look as good as it should <music> I mistakenly used my 7 or is this an 8 inch pan and it became uh, a thinner a thinner like half of it so it's supposed to be a double up because I'm supposed to use a 6 inch pan but here I'm using an 8 inch pan so it actually looked um, smaller than it's supposed to but actually I'm glad that I used this pan instead because of the um, cake length or the height you'll see it's actually just nice 
so uh, you just need to make sure that your pen at the bottom if it's like mine you can remove the bottom then you just make sure that you put an aluminium foil because you need to have a water bath and bake it so I, I didn't want water getting into the cake so I'm putting the aluminium foil to ensure it doesn't get into the cake and then once you're done you can just bake your cake okay so here's where it gets complicated so there's two types of uh, temperature and types of baking that you need to do which is the first one you need to bake it at 212 Fahrenheit for around 60 minutes and after that you can change the temperature higher to 320 Fahrenheit for around 15 minutes and since I actually changed the pan so I actually did a little bit of my own tweaking and put it around 40 minutes at the first and then the second part I, I also put in around 15 minutes so this is how the cake turned out and I really love it so much this is like my new favorite and my family loved it so much so I'm actually gonna make this again hope you guys liked the recipe as much as I did and if you want to do try it let me know how you felt and thank you so much for watching guys see you guys in my next video bye guys Your feet